Welcome to another Doctors Express Medical Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Thomas Brown, uh, the Medical Director for Doctors Express of West Hartford and Danbury, Connecticut. Um, this month is Hernia Awareness Month, so today's Medical Minute will be on hernias. Uh, what are hernias, how common are they, and how do people get them? So uh, hernias are when folks have a bulge, usually in men, but also in women, they have a bulge in their groin that may or may not be tender or painful. Uh, they're very common. Uh, men in particular have approximately a 27% lifetime risk of having a hernia at some point. In women, it's much less common. About 3% or so of women will get a hernia over their lifespan. Now, I'm talking about common hernias, what we call inguinal hernias. Uh, there are other types of hernias which we won't, won't address today. Um, in terms of what causes them, well, uh, it, it often happens in folks who have uh, weakened abdominal muscles for whatever reason and are doing some heavy straining. And this is part of the reason that it happens in young men more often than uh, other uh, individuals. Now, in men, without getting into too much physiology, men, of course, have uh, testicles and, and, and a scrotum, and, and those structures descend through this canal, this inguinal canal. So the canal is much larger in men than in women, and that's part of the reason men are so much more susceptible or prone to having hernias. Um, in terms of what we need to do about hernias, most of the time hernias don't cause problems. Uh, people can have them their entire life. Um, when they do cause pain though, then that's a problem, that, that's a concern that complications may have arisen. So most hernias are what we call reducible. You can take your finger or you can lie down in bed and due to the uh, effects of gravity, the bulge in the groin will actually disappear, which means that uh, the intestinal contents actually go back in to the abdominal cavity, the correct location. If it's not reducible uh, by lying down or using the finger or having a physician try to reduce it, then there's concerns for things like strangulation and incarceration. With, without getting into details of what those are, uh, if, if those concerns are there, then, then you need to send uh, the, the person to a surgeon and there may be a need for surgery. Uh, in terms of screening and diagnosis, if you're concerned you have an abdominal pain or pelvic bulge or pain, you want to see your physician. He or she will do an exam. They'll use their finger and they'll see if there's a bulge in your scrotum or in your groin and they'll see if it's reducible or not. If the exam doesn't give them the answer, they can do an ultrasound, a very cheap, inexpensive test that can tell you the same day whether a hernia is present. Um, and then in terms of treatment, um, it's actually, as I said, it's, it's fairly something that you can watch for years and years without need for treatment. But if it's causing pain, we generally refer folks to surgeons. They can do a very simple laparoscopic surgery, very, very safe. So if you have any concerns about hernias, it is Hernia Awareness Month. Here at Doctors Express, we're happy to see you. So please come in, we can help answer your questions. This has been another Medical Minute from Doctors Express Urgent Care, with locations in Danbury, West Hartford, Bridgeport, Stanford, and Hartsdale, New York.